Hey guys, it's Ashton Lua here, and today I'm going to be showing you part 3 of my Tycoon tutorial series. So yeah, let's just get into it. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to customise your Tycoon by adding a colorizer and a materialiser, and also how to add buy buttons so you can buy stuff in your Tycoon. So first of all, once you're in your Tycoon from last episode, First of all, we're going to make a colorizer. So, just insert a part and then scale it to around, get a bit skinnier. So, around 10 studs to around, I'd say, 8 studs. Maybe make it 11. And then we'll just move this away for now. I'll just make it grey. So yeah, I'm just going to name this part, I don't know, base part, this is just the back of the part, and then anchor as well, and then duplicate this, and then just scale it up to here, and then make sure it doesn't, oh, make sure it doesn't go out. And then this is going to be, this is going to show you what colour you've selected. So if I select a red button, this will turn red. So yeah, I think that's good. Make it grey for now. And then once you've done that, we're going to name this part the bar. So it's going to be the colour bar. And then what you're going to do is duplicate it again. Move it down and name this to button. And just scale it to the size of a normal button, so that's good enough. 1.5 by 1.5. And then the colour of your part is the colour selected, so you don't have to add any values or anything. So if I made this line green, I click the part, then the part being dropped will be line green. So yeah, I'm just going to add a few. So once you've added all your buttons, I did actually miss a step which probably would have been a bit useful earlier, but in each of the buttons you want to add a click detector, so the button is actually clickable. And then once you've added it to all your buttons, you want to highlight them all by shift clicking each button and then clicking Control alt and G to group it into a folder. And I'm just going to name this folder to buttons. And then once you've done that, click your folder and then shift click the rest of your parts and click Ctrl G and then name this the colorizer. Now once you've grouped this all together, make sure it's anchored and inside here, we're just going to add a script. And now once you're inside the script, we can just name it to, I don't know, color changer. And now I'm going to get the script. So now that we have our script, you can pause the video just to copy this down, or it will be in the description in the paste bin. I'm going to move the colorizer into your Tycoon, and then move it to purchased items, so you can actually purchase the colorizer. Now once we've done that, we can click out the script and click play, and hopefully it should work. So we're in our game here, as you can see our dropper is working. And if we click a colour, click pink, as you can see our dropper colour parts are pink and they still have the cash sign on them. So yeah, your colourizer is working, should be working. Made it white. So yeah, now we're going to do the materialiser. So to make the materialiser, I'm just going to copy and paste the colourizer. And you can just name it to materializer and now each of your buttons just make them the same color so i'm just going to make them all white and now it's the material that it will look for so if you click this button and it's brick for example it will make the dropper colors brick so i'm just going to do the materializer real quick So 
so now we have all of our materials and inside the materializer we'll just rename the script to material changer and delete this script and I'm gonna start on the new one so now we have our new script and again you can pause the video to copy this down and we can click out of here and click play and see it work so if we just load in and walk over to our tycoon again make sure it's claimed otherwise it won't work and then if we click brick for example it changes to brick and I'll drop apart our brick and it will work with the color changer as well so if I wanted black brick parts there we go diamond plate it should be diamond plate yep so yeah you can do whatever materials you want with this I'm not sure if it will work with custom materials I haven't tried yet but yeah we now have our colorizer and our materializer so now we're going to add the part at the end of the conveyor that converts our drop parts to cash so to do that we first need to go into leader stats here and we need to add a cash value into leader stats so we'll do local cash equals to instance dot new in value and parent it to leader stats and then we'll do local cash I mean cash dot name equals to cash if you do want to make it something else like coins or diamonds or whatever then you can change this bit to whatever you want and then cash dot value we're gonna make it zero say so star for zero cash now what we can do is I'm just gonna duplicate the conveyor and scale it down to around six pull it at the end drop it and we'll just make it I don't know orange neon and there we go and we can get rid of the conveyor script and rename this part to cash part and pull it inside the conveyor part and then we'll move the conveyor into main items and once we've done that we can go inside our cache part and insert a new script and we'll just name this uh, cache convert to <laughs> I, I don't, it doesn't really matter what you name them but I'm just trying to keep it organized and let's get to script in the third script so now that we have our script and once again you can pause to copy this down we have it working so if we click play and then just wait to load in slack a little there we go and then as we can see the parts are getting destroyed into the cash part so again if I change the color so it looks a bit more noticeable as you can see they go in and if we look inside our tycoons money value as you can see our parts are added to the money value and when we make a cash collector in the next episode we can claim our cash but for now it's going to be like this and yeah now let's make the buy buttons so now we want to make our buy buttons so we can actually purchase stuff inside the tycoon so first we want to insert a part i'm just going to insert a cylinder and we can just scale this down to look like a normal button 555 five, five should be good and i'll just make it red and once we have our part we want to name it to button and then click Control and g to model it and then we're just going to name this dropper button so it's going to be the button for our dropper and then inside here we want to add some values and the first value is going to be a string value and you want to name this the object and this is going to be what the button purchases so we name it to dropper and make sure it's whatever your dropper is named so just keep your dropper's name as dropper and then we're going to add another value we're going to name it int well we're going to add an int value 
and this is going to be price. It's going to be how much it costs. So keep it at zero because it's the first dropper. So now you've added all your values, we can add a billboard GUI into our button. And this is going to be the text that is above the button that shows what we're buying. So for size, I'm just going to make it 5,0,4,0. Or maybe 5 by 5 I think that's good. And then we're going to add a frame. Oh yeah, make sure inside the GUI light influence is set to zero and inside the frame we'll just make it 1 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 takes a path and then we'll add a text label that will be 1 comma 0 comma 0 0.6 comma 0 and now we can make the background transparency transparent on all of these and now we have our label just customize the text however you want just make sure it says what you're buying, so I'll put dropper for zero. And now you can just customize the text to have you want. I'm just going to make it white. And I'll add a stroke as well, so make it pop out a bit more. As you can see, we have our text. So once you've made your billboard GUI, you want to move the dropper button into your tycoon and into buttons here and once you have your button we need to edit the core handler script to make the buttons work with the tycoon so first of all we're going to do local buttons equals to tycoon find first child buttons and then after that we're going to do local oh hold on local purchase items so the tycoon find first child purchase items and then below here we'll just do local buttons no not local buttons sorry we'll do local objects equal to an empty table and once we've done that we can drop a few lines down here and now i'm going to get to scripting the rest of the script so the rest of the core script i will put in the pinned comment in the comments down below for you to copy and paste because it is quite a long string of code and just make sure to paste it under the main items function so on around about line 23 and now once you've done this we need to add another value to another button so what we're going to do is duplicate the dropper button and we're just going to name this colorizer if I can spell colorizer button and obviously make the object colorizer and then the price I don't know I'll set to 20 and once you've done that, you want to add a new string value. And we're going to name this dependency. Basically, what this string value does is it waits for the player to buy another item before this button spawns in and can buy the next thing. So if we make this dropper, then this button won't spawn until the dropper has been bought. So yeah, now we have dependency, so it depends on the dropper. So we can just move our buttons. So dropper button. We'll move by the dropper. And then colorizer. We'll just move next to the colorizer. And obviously edit the text, so it shows the price, so the price is 20, so you can just do colorizer $20. So as you can see, when we start the game and claim the Tycoon, we have our dropper for zero, and we can buy it, and then our drop parts drop. And once we've bought that, we can buy the colorizer. So if you click client here, go to your player, and just add cash to your player. 
click colorizer we can buy another object so obviously this has already been here because we haven't set a button for it but now everything works and yeah we're gonna add one more thing and then we're done so inside one of your buttons you want to add a script and we'll just name this color changer and I'm gonna to get to scripting real quick so again you can pause the video just to copy this down but basically this makes the button turn green whenever you have enough money so change really red to the actual color of your button which it already is really red so if your button was medium blue change this to medium blue keep it red for now and if we click play and go into the game and then walk over and make sure you every time you claim your tycoon it doesn't work and before you play make sure to actually move the script into button so I pull it in model instead and now if we click play and test it out just walk over make sure you claim your tycoon as you can see, it turns green when we have enough money. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode of the Tycoon tutorial series. If you would like to see part 4 and more future episodes, then let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. What? <laughs> I'll see you in the next episode.